Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Starve in Rim Dwarf World Fortress. We've got seven people, we're playing a Dwarf Fortress inspired Rim World. Again, this is our second time doing this sort of thing because I had such a blast the first time. We are in this desert world over here, which has turned out to be a little bit rough on the food. I, I, I think I underestimated how quickly we would need more food and I was a little bit conservative in my crop planting. Um, now I've gone crazy with it, and I'm not sure that our one planter is actually able to keep up with uh, planting all the crops, but it's probably worth trying to get as much down as possible here to get some food. Right now we're kind of okay. We're nearly out of raw potatoes over here, um, but we've got some meals here, and I think we're having a little bit of window that's going to be okay. Now we're starting to plant some rice as well, <clears throat> Excuse me, which grows fairly quickly. So meals being made here, digging, digging hole over here, hoping to get some um, hospitality stuff set up as soon as possible, just because a fair number of people have wanted to visit our colony. They heard great things about Dwarven architecture and they're really curious. So we're gonna see if we can get that started soon. Uh, some more smoothing would be nice too. I mean, at some point, obviously we don't get all these individual bedrooms rocking and rolling, but it's not necessarily the highest priority. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I've got a tickle in my throat this morning. It's driving me crazy. Can't seem to, to clear it no matter how much drinking of water I do. I should specify because sometimes we get a little bit confusing <clears throat> as to what kind of drinking we do on this channel here. Especially when we're talking about dwarfs. Heat wave is over. You know, the heat wave never gotten, got extremely hot, which was kind of nice. Um, and, you know, our freezer was actually still freezing during the heat wave, which is a really, really nice thing. So we got a little bit of food production going on. We very low on, on hunting ability, so we really do have to grow everything. There's really just this one fertile spot here in the desert, and that's about it. And uh, unlike last time, where we had a few issues with getting... Oh, it's the road. I was like, why is the texture different on the side? It's the road. Uh, we had a few issues with keeping our consistent crops going for alcohol production, which we haven't started yet. Now, I did start us with a ton of beer this time, 200 units of beer or something like that. I like a pretty, a pretty aggressive amount. Not going to deny that. But I want to make sure, uh, and it's a good thing because we, we didn't have enough crops to freaking start our, our farming, let alone our beer making. And even then, I'm not entirely sure that we're going to have enough uh, stuff kicking around for that because it turns out we need a lot more food than I expected. So are we going to end up with enough potatoes and rice to get started on our vodka and, and sake production? Sake? Sake? Sake. Vodka and sake. I like it. That I'm going with it. Done. Vodka and sake. It's a dwarf brand, a uh, rice-based uh, spirit. <clears throat> but yeah, we're gonna have to get that going soon. Uh, that is gonna be, have to be in a somewhat temperature controlled area. I suspect deep in the mountain here, we're gonna have enough consistency for the temperature. I think it's gotta be anywhere between like 10 and 20 kind of degrees. Actually, it's like a bigger range than that. It's like up to 27 or something. So as long as it <clears throat> doesn't get insanely hot or insanely cold, it's gonna be fine. So we may be fine deep inside the mountain. I mean, it feels like an old timey sort of uh, cave for beers and things um so once again we've got some idleness i think we can probably go ahead and just say go ahead and continue to um to excavate all the things here boom again this is going to be our primary storage thing you know i'm just going to go whoops i was going to say do that i don't know if we're going to necessarily want that opening but we'll dig out the whole cave when we get there we'll dig around here <clears throat> i do want to rebuild some of these walls as well so i'm going to go ahead and make this a um a little hospitality suite and we're actually going to build some regular beds for that. Just, just I think three is going to be enough. We might get some bigger visitors, but uh, for now, that's going to be enough. And, I mean, that's a fair amount of dedication to beds. Um, can we make beds out of other things? We can. Make them out of limestone blocks. If we tear apart enough of these structures, we might end up with enough blocks to uh, consistently make beds. But we're going to try with wood right now because we do have some over here. And that is going to be the guest room. We're also going to be doing a smoothing a wall i do love this mod i think i i think it's a mod like i've always asked for i want to be able to smooth the walls and like it works well the time it takes to smooth is ridiculous it takes so long like the smooth walls are really strong but it makes so much more sense than like okay i dig out everything and then i rebuild proper walls like what a tedious little thing <clears throat> it's honestly it's slightly easier because you don't have to carve the blocks first to make the walls that way, but it's not like you're coming out um, ahead overall. Oh, I guess, uh, what's the, uh, there we go. Boom, guest room, done. We'll smooth the floor at some point as well. When these walls get smooth, we'll run some power in here as well, get a little lamp for people, and that's gonna be a-okay. So hopefully, at some point last game, I feel like we stopped getting visitors. Hopefully that doesn't uh, end up being the case again this time. We'll see how that goes. All right, meals, this, this, this. Uh, still no wildlife. We did kill absolutely everything that was on the map. Oh, we got a rat over here, but hunting rats, not really the path to success. 
in terms of food efficiency. I mean, if there was one like right next here, we might go ahead and whack it. Just saw a picture online of uh, a soldier, I think, in World War One. Apparently, rats were like a massive problem because I mean, there were dead bodies everywhere and like, you know, poop piles and all those things. So rats were just multiplying like crazy. And there's a picture of this one soldier like who set up like a rat skin, a rat hide tannery in uh, one of the rooms in a bunker like at one of the trenches. And it was pretty amazing to see actually. So certainly you can do the same thing here in RimWorld because you do get some leather from the rats, but I'm not sure it's the most time efficient way to get this going. At some point we are gonna wanna grow some cotton, but that's a super not our early priority here. Boom, 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 dig, 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 smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah, I think I'm fairly happy with the time time expenditure. And yeah, I mean, we're not getting bedrooms for our dwarves. We're not even going to problem beds for our dwarves, but that's okay. We are going to want to set up um, stone smoothing production sooner rather than later because we're really going to rely on that. This is going to be a cooking area. Where is our going to be our production zone? Well, our stockpile's over here. What if instead of bedrooms over here, I just tear down the walls in between and... That actually would be a great area for production near our, our primary stockpile. Uh, yeah, that's actually exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to be quite pleased with this. So it's going to be that. Um, the two doors here still make a lot of sense because there will be a few different options for ins and outs. We'll have doors on the opposite sides as well. I will set up a bit of a smoothing command over here because we're going to need to have some power available in this room. Although I don't think the stone cutters table actually needs power. We're going to want lights though. Um, production, production, production. Uh, if I get, uh, what am I looking for? I've lost it already. Is it right under my my thingy? No. Stone cutter's table. Yeah, right over here. Uh, if I do that, I mean, I could put a little crafting spot there, but then the the spot where you stand won't work. I'm just trying to figure out like efficient spacing. I guess we can have two, like, three wide things over here. Yeah, that'll be okay. <clears throat> so we'll get you there, and that's a job that you spend a fair amount of time on, so we'll go ahead and give you a bit of a seat. That's gonna be cool. We'll probably end up with two lamps in here. I don't know exactly where all the um, production areas will be, so we might wait until we've got a little bit more established and figure out what our, our spacing should be. But yeah, we'll do something like that. So that's all set up. I want to smooth the floors out maybe a little sooner so that this room's a little prettier for the visitors. Because the happier they are, the more chances there are that they'll leave us stuff, which is going to be great. So I'm just going to set up the any stone blocks. Sometimes I like with this is specify a particular type of stone because it'll guarantee consistently consistency. If you go any, it'll just do it based on proximity. We just we do have just tons of marble around. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to set up any stone block. It's going to be fine. Do until X, where X is going to be like... You know what's gonna bother me at 1,010? 1,000. Pause when satisfied. You know what? No, not even doing that. There you go. So we'll try to keep, so it turns out we have 137 stone blocks around. Oh yeah, right over here. I guess from all the flooring, I'm really surprised at how much we got. Really surprised, but I should turn on at this point. You know, just categorizing this view. So these are all limestone, and that's more limestone. So I guess we'll start making some limestone beds for our dwarves. I mean, it makes sense, I think, that our dwarves uh, will stay on um, on a stone beds. I mean, that's that's the dwarfiest way, isn't it? So yeah, we're gonna be looking to deconstruct that. We will be, you know what? I mean, it's a little early in a sense, but I'm gonna set a deconstruct over here. It's just gonna keep people a little bit busy, but I think we'll appreciate having the stone blocks as resources to get started with. So yeah, and the bedrooms will get pushed back over this way, which I think is fine. We have visitors. Hey, there we go. Oh man, there's so many of them. Now we could try to do some recruiting, but the thing is we have lots of people. We have no space for people. We have no food for people. So having more people seems like a pretty bad idea. So we'll just hope that they have a halfway decent um, stay and that'll be that. I mean, what I could do, uh, guest, certainly we will try to entertain all that guests that uh, visit us. So we'll make default. And in terms of, I think it's a negotiation job. We have no one with passion for it either. I mean, I could turn it on, but you know what? Who cares? So yeah, we're really, I didn't realize we had so bad um, negotiation. Recruiting new people will be a little bit tricksy. So I don't know if they'll enjoy their stay. I mean, they're getting some, some fun out of this, which is good. And not all of them will be able to sleep, but some of them will be able to. So hopefully they won't flip out too, too badly. Uh, let's get power. I'll run you across this way to there. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna keep people awake. We got a zit and a fire. I'm going to wake up everyone. 
I think we got at least one Pyromaniac. So I wasn't sure if uh, if it was going to be Miner or something like that, like Attack Miner, and therefore no one would be awake to, to put out fires. So we'll force people awake. That's okay. It's 6 a.m. Time to get up. Early bird gets the, I don't know, morning headache in my experience, really. Another idler. What's your deal? Medicine cooking. I guess you got no cooking to do. Um, I could turn on. What? You actually can mine. I guess you just can't reach anything. And yeah, we do want to research table soon-ish. Now, it's always a little awkward to fit that in because the first one's small and then it gets a lot bigger. <clears throat> what I'm going to do for our first research bench, I will set it up here. No. I'm going to set it up here. And then later we can remove that and replace it with a more conventional um, production thingy. And we will give you a little stool over there as well. <clears throat> and in terms of research, which we have turned off, only one person's interested in research. Uh, miner over here who, well, well, probably what we'll do is actually turn off your mining. And we'll bring up the, uh, the research over here. So he's not really a cook. He's just there to, like, do something with brewing or something like that. So he will construct if there's a construction job, which I think is fine. Otherwise, he'll spend his time researching. Or actually, what probably I'll do is I'll give you the management. So manage first, if there is a management station. You'll manage. Probably you'll spend your time managing and researching. We saw that last time. <clears throat> but occasionally do some construction. You're the double passion person and a skill 11 here. So it will actually use a lot of your time doing construction. We might toggle that. Like, we might um, only have your construction enabled when we actually care about skillful construction. Like, for just building a bunch of walls or something for defense, it might be less of an important thing. I don't know. Lots of socializing going on here. Rice came in. That's great. Still don't have any booze production. Our alcohol... What is... No. What category does that fall under? Booze. Okay, it's not raw foods. Oh, it's medicine. Okay, so we still have 100, over 100 beer, which is good. But we know it takes a long time to actually brew liquor. A long, long time. So it's certainly something we're going to have to keep aware of. I'm going to line this up here because I'm unlikely to have anything sort of... In this place i feel i don't know i think we can move lamps once they're built right reinstall that yeah so that's going to be okay we'll, we'll sort that out afterwards keep smoothing that stuff is going to be okay it actually looks doesn't look like he's sleeping because i don't know he's on a side it looks like he's just standing and working there but i don't know i guess it's because they're just sleeping on the floor and i'm used to them sleeping in beds and then having the blanket graphic which makes a bit of a difference see i will be building a door here and here then we're walling this but for now we can just leave this as one big room because why spend our time doing other things? Uh, yeah, you can just haul that out of the way because it's a bit of a problem right now, but we've got a lot of available mining. And again, at some point we'll open up the store, the storage here, but everything is fine here because it is, it is roofed. It's going to be okay. And I mean, unless it needs to be refrigerated, but I don't believe that anything that is here needs to be. I mean, warm beer, I don't know. It's not, not that appealing, but I guess it's not the worst thing in the universe. Certainly it's not going to go bad. Oh, and we po rice porridge. Ooh, I, I like to think this is rice pudding maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, these visitors are staying for a really long time. I hope they're having a good time. Again, it'd be nice to socialize a bit more. I don't know how we're going to get an extra person. We'll probably just have to, like, I don't know, just try to suck up to people. Rice mash. That, I believe, is the precursor to sake, which is very nice to see. Very nice to see. You know what I might do? Is set up some barrels in here, at least for now. Is it under production? Do I need a technology for alcohol making? I might. I might also want this milling stone here. Um, I don't know if you can mill rice into, I guess, millet. Yeah, do we need to research alcohol? Because all of a sudden that becomes the highest priority. Brewing. Yep. Industrial fermenting? Industrial fermenting barrel. I don't remember that last time. Still, we'll set up the default barrel or the basic barrel. Shift-click the gun turret over here. 
done and done. And yeah, we might have to turn off some construction for, um, who is it? What's this? Oh, you're, you're broke. Yeah. It's uh, Mr. Miner over here. We're helping to construct this. Can I set, okay, under construct. Uh, yeah, you don't have to fix things or repair things or build roofs or remove roofs or construct place fames, I guess is okay. Don't deliver resources yourself or this or smooth walls or deconstruct or install or remove. Floor. Okay, so you're not doing anything other than constructing like placed frames. So this is this sounds like the actual construct building thing. So other than that, you're not doing it. You are going to work on this. But mostly you're not spending your time constructing. It means your skill's not going to go up as fast. But I think that's okay. All right, what jobs? Grains and flour. Sugar cane, cornmeal. Oh, we also want, always want to do the bulk jobs. Just slightly more time efficient to do this. And, I don't know, just make sure we have some of whatever this is for other construction. So, all right, starting to research the brewing. That's good because apparently we didn't have that tech. So it's a good thing we get the research. Slows down our guns slightly, but I mean, it's the difference between what, six techs or seven techs for the guns. It hardly, hardly matters, the statistical thing, and obviously we can't survive without um, any kind of guns whatsoever. Friendly AI sent us a message. Okay, there is interesting plot stuff that would be nice to explore. I've still never, ever, ever done that. Okay, you're grinding rice into rice flour. It's probably more efficient to do things this way. We got another meteorite, lump of granite. Uh, boomlopes. I don't think hunting boomlopes is a path to victory. Oh, I need to, um, no, cancel. I need to priority haul the rice mash. Which it feels like it was on already. I don't know why no one's hauling it. Is there nowhere to put it? It doesn't make much sense. I mean, this is just a generic stockpile. It should be able to store everything, first of all. I mean, it's pure green check marks on everything over here, so... Someone should get that rice mash. There may have been like just more stone priority. Also, these slag chunks were flagged. Yeah, I think there was just other things that were set as a high priority haul and that was confusing things. Got a ton of rice coming in. Okay, food wise, I think we're gonna be okay. And yeah, once we can get the sake thing going on, it'll be very, very, very nice. So you get a dose of 25 flour. I guess with that in mind, I'm gonna go and set it to like 60, yeah, these, these are pretty big. So this will basically be two bulk jobs. One, uh, you know, well, or, or sorry, three is effectively what it'll be. And I think that'll be pretty good. I think having the flour, I suspect the more processed something is, the either the more nutrition you get out of it, or it might be uh, minus five score, yeah. Or it might you might not get more nutrition, although I'd be very surprised if that was the case, and just instead get more happiness and get more buffs, because there's a lot of things that can give you buffs in these things. Um, and I mean, we don't have a priority between the milling and this type of cooking, so um, you'll see some rice getting used for this, but that, that's okay, I'm fine with this. What are you, oh, you're doing the simple meals. I'm gonna change the simple meals over here to be a um, do until X. Where exit will be a little higher, we'll set it to 35 and that's gonna be okay for a buffer. But I don't want you to convert all the rice into simple meals and if there's a possibility to grind it into something, although there you go, you can see that it's gotten a little higher. So we can keep some of the raw ingredients behind, especially when we wanna do brewing, some of the rice will wanna turn into alcohol, for example. So setting a lot of limits on things, I think will be very, very, very good. And my room just got really dark. I, I was just, I think a big cloud just moved in front of the sun. So we're gonna get up for a second, turn on the light. There we go. Much better. Yeah, it was nice just having just having sunlight for the room, but uh, then nature decided, no, not for you. So I do want to build these walls, but I mean, eh, not bad. No real defenses. We should actually just build some sandbags and everything else, although we can hide behind these rocks. You know what? This is a pretty good natural defense. Sandbags are a little bit better, but that's pretty good. And I mean, what we can't cower behind sandbags right now. We have only melee weapons. It's not an option. So building defenses is pointless. I forgot. Although traps would be nice. We could we could set up some sort of kill zone pathing for something. Uh, maybe over here it wouldn't need that much building to do, which wouldn't be too, too bad. I think what I'm going to do is I'll put a regular haul command on these guys over here because that will be in the way for later. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be enough idleness for someone to go and do those jobs right now, but we'll, we'll hope. 
we'll hope that something like that can happen. All right, we are halfway through our alcohol research, which is gonna be lovely. And yeah, we'll probably just put a couple of brewery things in here for now. I mean, the temperature's gonna be fine. It's only 15 degrees, it's not particularly warm. Um, but this is also a place where people are gonna spend a fair amount of time working, this and this over here. And so having a little heater just to maintain a good room temperature will sort of be a natural fit. And that way uh, we can make sure the booze stays in an appropriate place. We still are gonna wanna make some like giant breweries later on, but for now this is okay. I'm gonna smooth down to there because we will eventually need to run power all the way down. I was just thinking for the heater. For now, if I just do this, that'll probably give us enough um, enough reach to put a heater here, for example. Um, although if we are gonna heat this area, because right now it's gonna heat like everything, this is wide open. And I mean, it's gonna help keep everything from freezing, but it might be a little too rough. Oh, that, this door, I'm, I'm trying to avoid building a door here just to have the throughput a little bit more. We got some more visitors, awesome. Um, so it might be okay, especially if we end up sort of double dooring the entrance over here so that we don't leak as much outside. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I could I could set up another room for a brewery. More short term, but ooh, Riesling. It's a type of grape, right? I mean, I assume it's a type of grape, since it's a type of wine. Now, this is all marble. It'd be great to have marble blocks. Now, I don't have crafting turned on here, so the question is, you know, what priority should this be? You guys both have passion for it. We could have non-passion people as well, working on some of these things. And skill level doesn't really matter as much for the blocks. Well, I mean, I'm not, obviously not turning it on for you. I might put like a level four job for Raymar over here. But the question is, do we want to revamp this around to prioritize the blocks? I might just have to put up with having a limestone wall over here short term. It's, it's too early for us, I think, to be really picky. So I will go and do that. And yeah, we'll probably have to have a double door here. Again, it's going to slow down our construction. And last time we did um, really delay the auto doors quite a bit because they're fairly expensive to build and maintain and everything, but it probably will help a lot to the, for the cooking to get the auto doors up and running as soon as possible. I'll probably do this as a normal one, but auto door this one. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And uh, I mean, we don't have the auto door tech yet. We actually are too low on wood do that, we're gonna start building steel doors over here. Steel doors are relatively light, just like wood. They don't take that long to open. And if you auto door either a wooden door or a steel door, uh, the auto doors happen so fast that they will open as someone approaches them without the person having to stop at all. Auto stone doors are still heavy and slow enough that people will have to stop and wait for the door to open, although it's not that bad. So, uh, I mean, we can't replace, we can't just upgrade a, a door to an auto door. There's probably a mod for that, but we'll leave it there. At some point, we'll probably deconstruct the uh, limestone over here. Maybe we'll use some more of the limestone for the outside, just so that we can get, you know, matching walls everywhere. But for now, I'm kind of okay with this. Temperature 16, I'm not going to rush the temperature thing. Although, I suppose I could pre-build it, the heater. We can always move around for all kinds of things as stuff comes up. We'll build it now. And... Um, you know, we'll just ask that it maintains, say, at least 16 degrees or something. Okay, brewing is done. Lovely. So now we need two things. First, we need the... Oh, yeah, food prep is another thing we can set up. There's fermenting barrels, but brewery. There we go. So I'm going to set up a brewery right there. And fermenting barrels. I'm going to... I think I kind of do want them sideways like this. Oh, we need wood. And there's no way around it. Oh, poopsicles. Let me pause a second. I don't know if I can make the brewery without wood. Yeah, that's gonna be a big problem. No, it has to be made out of wood. Hmm. Well, okay, let me turn this off because we actually already have some mash for the rice. So we can start doing this. I mean, this is, pine trees do go pretty fast, but they're not there yet. What I'll probably do is look to see if we can chop down some more cacti. Uh, chop wood. Because we did this earlier, but not everything was mature enough. So I think more of the cacti will be matured enough to be choppable now. There we go. And that should help us kickstart our brewing. And yeah, I'll just keep waiting for the pine trees to grow for now. I mean, they're only at 50% at that. So it would be really bad to, to chop them at this time. 
Uh, really inconsistent placement with the pine trees. I'm not sure that's like the, the tightest packing, but it probably is. It probably doesn't make a difference. There'd be a gap here instead of there or some damn thing. I don't know. All right, so we got wood again. These barrels should get made at some point once the uh, someone actually goes and picks up the wood. Chairs there. I mean, I guess I could set up the granite stool for the butchery, although like just, just to say that we've got it, but we obviously aren't butchering anything because there's still nothing rumoring around. Are the boomalopes even still here? I don't think they are. And at a glance, I'm not even seeing any rats. They're probably there. They're just really small. Uh, that's our cat, so we're not doing anything with that. But hey, I mean, we're not starving. We've got... Um, we got 66 meals. And those are real meals. And we've got some raw food. Yeah. Okay. The, the rice crops coming in made big, big difference. I just should have done that first. Now the potatoes do have a higher yield. The rice do need a, a fair amount of work to keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them here for now, and then when winter comes, um, I'll probably change a lot of this. We'll do a combination of, you know, rice and corn, and oh, I want to do zone area. I just want to go and remove this little schputz over here, because it's kind of dumb. That stuff grows slower, unless I also go and until that, but I don't want to. Um, so, we don't need to keep it at 21. We're going to try to keep it at 18, or 16 over here. 18 is the current temperature. Uh, we have liquor here. I need to tell you to be, be nice if this was a pop-up menu, but it is a mod. So there you go. Some sake over here because we do have the resource to do that. Um, and we can also make, uh, we can start vodka because vodka is undistilled vodka. You put the potatoes directly in here. And then you end up with your, your undistilled vodka afterwards that you then have to process. They really enjoy their steak. Really? I wonder why. And we got an eclipse, which doesn't bother us that much. Keep in mind, we still don't have... Oh, no, we do have a battery. Yeah, that's true. So we're okay for now. And we'll probably build some more batteries out here soon. But there we go. We got our research coming on. So we are going to be working our way up to gun turrets. Takes a long time to go. Along the way, we will pick up gunsmithing so that we can start producing our own guns. And we may, in fact, need to do just that. Okay, now that we got two of these barrels set up, I'm going to go and set up the... I guess wooden brewery is the only option, right? Right over there. Excellent. And yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to install you here instead. Because it's more likely we'll spend more time brewing than anything else. Um, so, at some point that'll get set up, and then we'll set up some, some jobs for you. Top of the line will be to finish the distilling process on the woodka. If we can, bring you some more wood in here. That's good. Yeah, so I think we're going to be fine in terms of raw material. You're digging that out. Let's do another sort of high priority haul in over here. I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be high priority, but it kind of does. It's really important to get this stuff out of here. It really is. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't consider it to be a problem. I suspect we need to, not home area, um, the indoor cleaning area. Yes, indeed. Sorry, did Yorkshire Terriers just join? It's a good thing we're not desperate on food anymore. Now, Yorkies are partially trainable. Like, they're, they're clearly smart and everything, but they're tiny. How many are we talking about here? A lot. I don't know if you can feed these all. Obedience, release. No, they can't be trained to, to haul. I think they're just too small. So, um, sorry to break it to you puppies, but... You're all just meat. I mean, I suppose we can keep you around to sell you, but the thing is we don't have enough food to do this at all. Yeah, that's what we'll do at some point too, is we'll set up a little bit of uh, hay uh, so that we can start making kibble stuff. But yeah, we're gonna butcher all these poor little dogs. If you can't haul, I'm definitely not, not feeding you right now. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Dwarf Fortress. Things are, are kind of nasty sometimes. Boom, put the boom, put the boom, put the boom. Got that. I still feel like we don't need to expand to the storage. I would really like to get these bedrooms going. Um, we do need a lot of material for the beds. We do have plenty of steel right now. I mean, that's not going to be an unlimited thing until we get to, like, deep mines or whatever the heck. Like, we know we're going to run into steel shortage problems. But the nice thing is we do actually have one particularly good constructor. So the odds of getting a, a fairly high-quality bed the first time is good. I don't think I'm going to put in a... Um, a quality requirement because I don't think we can afford to necessarily grind through a bunch of steel. The other thing too is, I mean, at some point, I mean, we do have, we are going to get regular amounts of trees 
from our pine harvest over here. In fact, in the long run, this might become an entire like just forest area as we move maybe more and more things internally to um, to hydroponics. Although that's that's a big ask. We'll probably still need some crops here, but maybe not as many as we have. That would be kind of interesting though, wouldn't it? I think so. So we got the butcher jobs. They haven't happened yet. I mean, it's part of the cooking thing, which is basically a level three job for people and you know, sub broke, or it's a level two job actually for actual cooks, which I think is good. Cooking's obviously a fairly high priority. We can still put things at a level one if we really need something like today, but, um, or yesterday, but yeah, so they should get butchered soon. And we do have that on forever. Okay. So we'll put a cut here next episode. We will see the, the butchering of the, uh, of the Yorkies. Aw, poor little guys. Yorkies are so goddamn cute too and smart, but yeah, just a little too tiny. I think the haul. That's a shame. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.